today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1737, Galileo's body is moved to the Church of Santa Croce in Florence, Italy. In 1755, in order to pump water from a mine, the first steam engine in the United States is installed. In 1773, a settlement is founded by Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable. It is now called Chicago. In 1804, Samuel Chase becomes the only U.S. Supreme Court justice to ever be impeached. In 1849, the first East Coast gold seekers arrive in Nicaragua on their way to California. In 1881, Andrew Watson makes his Scotland debut as the world's first black international soccer player and captain. In 1884, Mississippi establishes the first U.S. State College for women. In 1888, during the second day of the Great Blizzard of 88 in the eastern U.S., 400 people die. In 1894, Coca-Cola is sold in bottles for the first time. It's in a candy store in Vicksburg, Mississippi. In 1901, ground is broken for the Huntington Avenue Grounds, Boston's first baseball park. In 1903, the New York Highlanders are approved as members of the American League. We now call them the Yankees. In 1904, Andrew Carnegie establishes the Carnegie Hero Fund. In 1912, in Savannah, Georgia, Juliet Gordon Lowe creates the American Girl Guides, which is later called the Girl Scouts. Also in 1912, the Helen Hayes Theater opens in New York City. In 1913, the future capital of Australia is officially named Canberra. Also in 1913, and also in Canberra, the foundation stone of the Australian capital is laid. In 1917, on the exact day that U.S. President Woodrow Wilson gives an executive order to arm U.S. merchant ships, a German submarine sinks the Algonquin an unarmed U.S. merchant ship. In 1918, after 215 years, Moscow becomes the capital of Russia again. In 1928, in California, the St. Francis Dam fails. The resulting floods kill over 600 people. In 1930, Mahatma Gandhi begins his Salt March. In 1933, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt gave the first of his fireside chats. In 1935, Britain establishes a 30 mile per hour speed limit for towns and villages. In 1938, Germany invades and annexes Austria. In 1935, Pope Pius XII is crowned in Vatican ceremonies. In 1945, 30 residents of Amsterdam are executed by their Nazi occupiers. Also in 1945, New York is the first state to prohibit discrimination by race and creed in employment. In 1947, U.S. President Harry S. Truman defined his Truman Doctrine, which set out his foreign relations priorities. In 1948, American singer, songwriter, and guitarist James Taylor is born. In 1950, the Landau air disaster in Wales, Great Britain is the world's deadliest air disaster at the time, with 80 people dying. In 1951, communist troops are driven out of Seoul, Korea. Also in 1951, the comic strip Dennis the Menace makes its first appearance in the British comic magazine, The Beano. In 1957, Random House and Houghton Mifflin co-publish The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. In 1963, as John Lennon is ill, the Beatles perform as a trio in Bedford, England. In 1964, New Hampshire becomes the first U.S. state to legally sell lottery tickets. Also in 1964, at the sixth Grammy Awards, Barbara Streisand wins twice. In 1964 as well, Jimmy Hoffa is sentenced to eight years in prison. In 1965, the song Wooly Bully is released by Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. I always think of Sean Penn when I hear about that song. In 1967, the Indonesian Congress strips President Sukarno of authority and names General Suharto as acting president. Remember, we learned more about that on yesterday's episode. In 1969, at the 11th Grammy Awards, Glenn Campbell's song, By the Time I Get to Phoenix, wins best record. In 1970, the U.S. lowers the voting age from 21 to 18. In 1971, the Allman Brothers Band begin recording their album, live at Fillmore East. 
It takes two days. In 1973, NBC TV runs the last episode of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. In 1974, Ted Bundy's victim Donna Manson disappears from Evergreen State College in Olympia, Washington and is never found. In 1977, Egyptian President Anwar Sadat pledges to regain Arab territory from Israel. He doesn't. In 1980, a jury finds John Wayne Gacy guilty of murdering 33 people in Chicago. In 1985, Larry Bird scores a Boston Celtic record 60 points at tonight's game. Also in 1985, at the 11th People's Choice Awards, Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep win for motion picture, and Tom Selleck, Joan Collins, and Linda Evans win for television. In 1986, Susan Butcher wins the 1,158-mile Iditarod sled dog race. In 1987, Les Mis opens at the Broadway Imperial New York City and runs for over 4,000 performances. In 1989, at the 15th People's Choice Awards, Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep win for motion picture, and Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad win for TV. In 1990, the LA Raiders announce they are returning to Oakland. In 1993, North Korea says that it plans to withdraw from the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and refuses to allow inspectors access to its nuclear sites. Also in 1993, several bombs explode in Bombay, India, killing about 300 people and injuring hundreds more. And in 1993 as well, snow begins to fall across the eastern U.S and lasts for 30 hours. It is accompanied by tornadoes, thunder snowstorms, high winds, and record low temperatures. Also in 1993, today is Entertainment Tonight's 3,000th show. In 1994, the Church of England ordains its first female priests. In 1999, Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic become members of NATO. In 2002, the animated film Ice Age premieres. Also in 2002, the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series starring Michael Chiklis premieres on FX TV. In 2003, the World Health Organization issued a worldwide health alert, warning of an illness it later called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, that struck hundreds of people in Asia. Also in 2003, kidnap victim Elizabeth Smart is found after having been missing for nine months. In 2004, history's first impeachment of a president of South Korea begins today. In 2007, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, R.E.M., The Ronettes, and Van Halen. In 2008, the streaming service Hulu launches in the United States. In 2009, American hedge fund investment manager Bernie Madoff pled guilty and was sentenced to 150 years in prison. In 2012, the movie The Hunger Games premieres in Los Angeles. In 2013, the 2013 Papal Conclave begins with no new Pope elected on this first day. In 2018, British Prime Minister Theresa May says Russia was highly likely to have poisoned a Russian spy and his daughter on March 4th with a nerve agent. Also in 2018, research shows that Chinese cities have decreased pollution by 32% on average in just four years. In 2019, dozens are charged in the college admission scandal by U.S. federal prosecutors, including actresses Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman. In 2020, due to COVID-19, U.S. President Trump bans travel with 26 European countries. And lastly, in 2021, with one in every 42 births being twins, researchers say the world has likely reached peak twin with more twin births than ever before. Well, that was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got quite a few more ready for you to watch right in front of you and a whole bunch more on my channel. While you're there looking at them, it would be great if you would subscribe.